What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. Want to stay informed? Hit that subscribe button down below. Like the content you see here on my channel? Give it a thumbs up. Want more people to stay informed and stay safe? Well, you know what to do. Just hit that share button down below and it helps share this with more people. Got something to say or a comment on anything you see here today or just something you want to say in general? Leave a comment down below. All right, today we're going to start off with a few news stories and we are going to take a look at a poll that I conducted yesterday evening. You might have heard me mention about it. And then we're going to take a look at some of the daily and weekly data. Plus, we will look at a few wastewater sites as well. All right, starting off today with a new study that just came out that finds among blood donors with prior SARS-CoV-2 infection, 23.6% reported long-term neurological symptoms that were attributed to their COVID-19 case. Yes, this is uh, something that's not good, and it's just more proof that just because you now start to test negative for covid doesn't mean it's done with you, that you can still have lingering issues long after your COVID case, which is not a good thing. All right, up to Canada we go. COVID outbreak closes Palmerston Hospital to visitors. This not does not include essential care partners. They don't state how many people have been impacted by this or how many people they're currently treating for COVID, but they're dealing with an outbreak at their hospital, and it says they have been experiencing an outbreak of COVID-19 since April 8th. If you want to read more about this, I did tweet or retweet this out. This is something we did not get to in yesterday's update. All right, this is not good. Severe COVID leads to higher risk of pulmonary fibrosis. You know, when... Uh, your lungs get scarred from, you know, severe respiratory distress or coughing or whatever the case may be. Yes, it can happen from COVID. I've heard of a lot of cases and stories about this happening via Twitter throughout this pandemic. All right, we have to take a look at something that I tweeted out yesterday. It's a poll. I put, do you know someone who traveled and then tested positive for COVID? This can be at any point during the pandemic, and I did clarify myself here. I put to clarify, I should have said during this pandemic, as the pandemic is not over, which we all know. And take a look at this. We had 1,015 votes. So this is one of the polls where we got a higher number of votes. 95.2% said yes. Just a mere 4.8% said no. So by majority, by a big majority, yes was the winner in this poll with just, again, there's only two hours left. I don't think there's going to be much of a change. And it says here, someone's put uh, my nephew more than once. And then someone put, sort of, I know of a couple people who caught COVID-19. The wife brought it home from a flight earlier this year. Someone said so many people. Someone said yes, several people. And on and on it goes. Some people did say no. And someone said, I said no because I don't know anyone who tests anymore. Hey, that's a legitimate uh, response. Someone says they don't know anyone who travels. Also a legitimate response. All right, let's take a look at air quality data. I have to refresh this. I suspect we're going to see some bad air qualities in the east simply because, we, yeah, kind of a mixed bag. Not terrible. We do see some 50s. We do see a couple places closer to 100 or near 100. Southeast Pennsylvania, where I'm at, well... This is uh, not good. A lot of uh, places near or over 100 today. That's not a good thing. And taking a look at the rest of the country at this time, not doing all that bad. Just the usual hot spots on going out in California, Oregon. Just a couple up near Washington. Not much at all in the way of Washington. Again, the worst of the United States is east of the Mississippi River. Taking a look at EMS calls. And I do want to... um state something here that I have not said before about Philadelphia EMS calls. First off, today's number is 788 EMS incidents. 
I was driving home. Well, I had to do a uh, prescription delivery before I came home. And I took note of something. Literally, right around the corner from me, there is a, a private ambulance agency, which does actually, you know, transport people to the hospital. And then I started thinking, well, you know, I know of several other private ambulance agencies in Philadelphia County. And again, this 788 EMS number, that's coming from the Philadelphia Fire Department. There are people that directly call these private ambulance agencies for help. Not 911, but the actual phone number. So you have to remember something here. Those calls that they get do not get included in the total number of EMS calls in the city of Philadelphia. 788 EMS instance, that's from the fire department. That's not including what comes from these private ambulance agencies. If anyone knows otherwise, let me know down below. But it's something that I did not mention before. And it's something that I need to start mentioning when I do show these numbers. So it's really interesting to see. Again, we're near 800 today. So it's a sign of the times. Things have been busier as of lately. Taking a live look. And I do need to refresh this. Okay, it's right. There are currently 17 calls right now ongoing in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Yes, really busy. Cardiac emergency, diabetic emergency, a lot of emergency calls. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven that say emergency on there. So that's not good to see. We need to refresh Chester County. Yeah, Chester County is busy right now as well. Respiratory difficulty, fall lift this is sick person, unconscious person, another unconscious person. Cardiac arrest, ooh, that's never good. Hopefully that person makes it. Respiratory difficulty, heart problems, hemorrhaging, unconscious person, and two more sick person calls. Yeah, really busy right now. Again, a sign of the times. Things have been trending busier as of lately. I think, I think it's safe to say there's going to be a spring surge of some sort, whether it be COVID or the other viruses. There's a lot of things going on. I should have said this at the beginning of the video today. Happy Ramadan to anyone who celebrates Ramadan today. I know there's a lot of gatherings ongoing for that. Uh, we had the eclipse, it's spring, the weather's nice, so a lot of people are getting outside, you know, the big gatherings. And again, a lot of people think, well, outdoors is safe. It is unless you're in large crowds. When you're in large crowds, then there are problems. Uh, COVID can still spread outdoors and indoors, so it's not just a virus that only spreads indoors. We've heard of outdoor transmissions before. We've heard of it happening when people go to outdoor concerts. Hey, baseball season's back, so that's something we have to watch as well. All right, taking a look at wastewater. Now, we're going to do a couple wastewater sites, and I suspect, I think it would be a good idea if we see what's going on up in Newark, New Jersey, in the big populated area. We haven't looked there in a while. So taking a look at the details of Newark, New Jersey, again, big population. 1.5 million people at this wastewater site and right off the bat i'm seeing something that i do not like seeing and look at this yeah you're starting to see a little bit of a rise again for COVID. it's saying medium and uh, it, it may be getting close you know what it is look at this yeah it's starting to rise again for COVID up in north jersey rsv is low at this time uh slight rise once again for influenza a a bit of a bigger rise now for influenza b so hey flu that's flu Flu is still continuing to go around, and it's increasing. HMPV is increasing. And look at this. Norovirus is now going straight up. That is not something we like to see. Mpox at this time, not much of any issues. Not seeing any detections of that. And there are some detections of hepatitis A. So again, uh, COVID. It's starting to rise in North Jersey. And I do know there were a lot of people, even from North Jersey, that either went to upstate New York, Western Pennsylvania, maybe Western New York, up to New England. So it's very well possible we could be seeing early eclipse or we're just seeing a, a spring surge in general. We'll have to see if it starts showing up in the New Jersey hospitalizations. And you know what? Since we looked at North Jersey, let's see if there's anything going on in South Jersey. Bridgeton wastewater site is 50,000 people. And we can see here, not much of an increase yet, but there is a slight one. I can say there is a slight increase at this time for COVID. Not much going on in the way of RSV. Taking a look at influenza A, not much with that. Influenza B is rising slightly. HMPV, not much issues at this time. And norovirus, 
once again is starting to rise. And pox, not many issues. And hepatitis A, there have been some detections of that. All right, let's go out to the West Coast. I want to do two wastewater sites in the West Coast. As promised yesterday, we do need to show the West Coast because, let's face it, we didn't really look at the West Coast very much the past couple days. So we need to uh, be fair and see what's going on out there. Let's go to Utah first. Salt Lake City, Utah. And we can see here, eh, COVID, it's just really bouncing around off the bottom. But when we do look at the values, here's March 25th compared to now, we do see that that number is up a little bit at this time. RSV, again, that number is up a little bit as well. Influenza A, not much of an issue. Influenza B, eh, barely up, not up all that much. Norovirus is dropping at this time. HMPV has rose slightly. And taking a look now, let's see, Mpox, no detections of that. And Hepatitis A, there have been some detections of Hepatitis A. And then when we come further west, where do we want to go? Let's go to California. Can we go down to uh, San Diego? Let's see what's going on there. And in San Diego at this time, we do note that very low levels for COVID, low levels for RSV, not much in the way of issues with influenza A, but when we take a look at influenza flu type B, we do see there is a slight rise that is starting to occur. HMPV is dropping, norovirus is dropping at this time, not much in the way of issues with Mpox, and hepatitis A, not seeing many issues with that at this time. Alrighty, moving on now. Let's take a look at some uh, CDC data, shall we? Let's take a look here. You can see here deaths in the past week. They're down 20%. And when we take a look at hospital admissions, 8,015, that is down 15.3%. Taking a look at epidemic status, it is growing in Texas at this time for COVID and likely growing in Kansas. Influenza. It's growing in New York State, and it is likely growing in North Dakota. It will be very interesting to see if within the coming week we do see an increase for both of these because of the eclipse. It may even take two weeks for that to occur. It will be interesting to see if we see any states starting to increase. Variant proportions. I believe we get an update on this on Friday. The JN.1 variant is at 86%. JN1.13 is at 10.8%. JN1.18 is now at 1%. 0.6%. And when we take a look at the flu map, we can see here the only place that really increased was North Dakota. You can see the shade of red. They went a shade higher into the high category. They're just one shade of red below very high at this point. So that's a little concerning. That is something we will have to continue to watch. Moving on now to New Jersey. 68 out of 70 hospitals reported. And that comes out to 221 hospitals. So though wastewater is rising in North Jersey, on a statewide level for New Jersey, you are not seeing a rise yet. 12 people on a ventilator, 35 people in the intensive care unit and discharges. You did have another 30 discharges. New York State, 366 people tested positive on today's update. And we will take a look at the hospitalizations here. 538 people in the hospital, 65 people in the ICU. Again, I would like to see this drop below, get to at or below 500 by the end of this week. I think that would be a huge milestone for New York. Uh, let's take a look at the capital region. This is going to refresh on us. So we're going to need to zoom back in once again. But when we take, oh, that's a little zoomed in too far. When we take a look at what is going on in the capital region, hopefully we will see that levels are dropping. And yes, they did drop from yesterday. Yesterday was 28. They dropped down to 23 with four people in the ICU. And let's check New York City. What's going on in New York City? New York City is down today, 184, with 18 people in the ICU. Long Island, what is going on there? Long Island is down ever so slightly. 91 people in the hospital, 14 people in the ICU. All right, there is one more state we need to take a look at, and that is Colorado. And we do have some uh, data in from Colorado. Just one person added to the hospital count. It was 85. Now it is up to 86. And when we take a look at the positivity rate, it did increase by 0.4% to 3.6%. Cases reported this week, 628. That is down by 140. Emergency department visits. They're flat over the past week. So, again, things are not going all that bad in Colorado. Again, just not really dropping too much anymore. Pretty much holding steady at this point. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's pandemic update. We will have another pandemic update again tomorrow. If you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone who needs to see content like this, by all means, share this with them. Remember, the website is datareport.info. You can find most of the things, that, or at least the studies, and other stuff that we talk about here on the website. It does get posted, and of course, anyone can sign up to become a member. It's free. Sign up. Say whatever you want to say. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Wednesday afternoon.